Hello! It's been a while since I've recorded anything, but I've actually got something to tell you about today, so hence the video. So we'll just get this aeroplane in the air, and while we're taking off, I'll tell you all about it. So, I've been taking part in group flights online for a while now. Um, one of the big bugbears with Microsoft Flight Simulator with group flights is you can't see other aeroplanes or other humans that are in the airspace around you in any of the mapping programs because the simulator doesn't broadcast the location of users, it only broadcasts the position of artificial intelligence aircraft. You know, so the, the aeroplanes you see in the air that are controlled by the computer, not by real people. So if you're flying with a group of friends, you can't see them on a map. So, you know, if you're using something like Little Nav Map, then you can't see them, which makes air traffic control a nightmare, unless you use something really clunky like JoinFS. So, I've written a small program, so we'll just get that plane flying away, um, and I'll show you it here. It's called Virtual Flight Online Transmitter, and what it does is connect to the simulator with the Sim Connect protocol, which is built into Flight Simulator, and by doing that it can read your longitude, your latitude, altitude, heading and airspeed. And then I let you in this little program put some other bits of information in as well, so your call sign, um, your type of aircraft that you want to tell everybody you're in, your name, a group, I'll get back to that, and the URL of the server that it's going to send the data to. So this is all built in when you download the program, this is all built into it. So if I click the connect button, we can see straight away that this is ticking away at the bottom and it's sending our information up to the internet. So what does that mean? Let's go and have a look at Little Nav Map. So I've built a web service that we can connect to Little Nav Map. So if we go to the Tools menu and Options, in the Online Flying section, there's an Online Service option. And usually you might point this at VATSIM or IVAO. But there's a Custom option, and we can give it the URL of a file. And that's where my web service comes in. So I'm going to put the URL in. The URL is in the instructions of the download. I'll show you the web page in a moment. So if we go and apply that and say OK, there's our aeroplane on the map. And it's updating every five seconds, which is what I told Little Nav Map to do. So every five seconds you'll see the aeroplane move around the map. If we right click on this aeroplane, oh we haven't got the information panel up at the moment. So if we go to window and we want the information panel please, and we want to go right click. Oh it's doing it anyway, look. So there's our information on our aeroplane. So you can see very quickly, if lots and lots of people are running this small little program, then the data is kept on the database on the internet. If you stop flying, by the way, it deletes you off the database after five minutes of receiving no information from you. So don't worry about you know any data being left on there. Um, so yeah, if there's a whole group of you running this program, then you'll all appear on the map. Yeah? If you don't want, say if there's hundreds and hundreds of people using it all over the world, eventually, and you don't want to see all the other people, you only want to see your group of friends, that's where the group name box comes in. So you can say, see here, I typed in XYZ on the group name. So what I could do in the nav map is go to Tools and Options, and where I've got the URL, I could put on the end of here, question mark, group, oops, group name equals XYZ and it will filter to only pull back the aeroplanes from the database that match the group name. Does that make sense? Okay, so in my case it's still me. <laughs> There's nobody else around. So yeah, this is called the Virtual Online Virtual Flight Online Transmitter. If we just go and have a quick look at the website, so Virtual Flight Online, there is a link on the website called Transmitter. And if you go in there, there's all the instructions about it and a download link, how to configure it, what all the different settings do. So yeah, so this is the tool that lets you see all of your friends flying Microsoft Flight Simulator within a little nav map. Yeah, so each person just needs to run this tiny little program that broadcasts your location up to the internet. And obviously when you configure a little nav map to fetch the locations, it can draw all of the aeroplanes on for you. Okay, that's it. So have fun. If you have any questions about it, just head to the Virtual Flight Online website 
and you can put a comment on the page about it. Okay, I'll speak to you all soon.